is Nancy again I'm working on this labor of love quilt I thought I'd just show you a little bit of what I'm doing with the quilting I'm on my new Janome memory, memory craft 6700 P that I just got from Mortelli's what great people they are so awesome um, hats off to Mortelli's um, I love this new Janome machine it's um, everything I wanted it's got plenty of room for me when I'm working on a quilt to have room to work with it has the extended harp um, I also am working on a huge desk that I have and my um, sewing machine is dropped into the desk so that way I have plenty of room to work on um, I also got from Martelli's these palm paddles and they come in a little package and they're made to help with free motion quilting and that's what I'm doing on here I had thought about doing it with the walking foot which I very well could do but I I just like free motion quilting it for me it just helps out um, and what I'm gonna do is I have my machine set my feed dogs are dropped I have my thread gone if you I don't know if you can see this or not but my setting is set to zero for my stitch length and I am ready to go now with these palms I have found you hold them fairly close to where you're working at it kind of helps you so that you're not I my excuse my hands I have arthritis really bad and I'm and um I have to kick off my shoe. I don't know if you're like I am, but I cannot work my foot pedal with my shoes on. I have to have the feel of it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start a few stitches. I'm going to lock my stitches in by going back and forth a couple of times. I had already pulled my bottom thread up. I'll show you that the next time. And now I'm just going to grab my threads and cut them. These palms work great because you can get a good grip but you're not using a lot of pressure on it. Now all I'm going to do is follow the outline that I drew that I showed you earlier and I'm going to find it. Is it perfect every time? No, I'm not perfect. Um, I'm legally blind so I make my line. I like these dark lines because I can see them. Something lighter? No way. Now I'm just going to glide down a little bit. And I'm looking to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this to the perfect, maybe that way out a little bit. Maybe that will help. Excuse me if my hands are in the way. I'm new at this, I'm just learning. Okay, and now I'm gonna hold it with this keeping even and do not let and then you just refocus your hands and I'm going down and around now with this one and I'm going to go around one more time and then I'm going to come down And when you feel you're stretching too much, stop, breathe. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Get to where you're nice and smooth, 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 smooth all the time. Keep following your line. Your line is not going to be there. So if you don't, once you iron this, so if it's not perfectly on the line, it's not going to, you're not going to, I mean, unless you're really zigzagging it but just get it set back up again take your time with this it's not a race and I know by the time I get to quilting I feel like let me see if I can do it I'm trying to work with these palm things maybe if I just use my hands I just want you to see I didn't want the palms to be in the way of 
Now, with this quilt, you're going to see some puckers. And the reason why is because this is old fabric. Um, this fabric is stretched. There was no, nothing. The only thing that was holding this quilt together when I got it was the binding. That was the only thing that was holding any of this together. It had big rips, big tears. I've had to um, patch, replace, and just go all the way into the corner. But your stitching is going to help hold some of these stretchy places back together again. Now I'm going to start going back the other way. And it's slow and easy. It's, you're not going to super speed fast. Don't listen to your needle. I had trouble when I first started free motion quilting. I was listening to the needle and I thought I had to move as fast as the needle was going. Broke on one quilt, 37 needles. The name of the quilt is 37 needles. Um, it belongs to my cousin now. He loves it. But he doesn't know the agony that went into it. <laughs> And as you can see, uh, these palms, I really like them. They've got a uh, surface on the bottom of them, so they're non-slip. So your hands aren't constantly slipping and sliding on the fabric. And you're, it just gives you a way to stretch it out so that you can get as close to that line as possible. And you're going to keep on doing this and when I get up to here just to help support this quilt I am kind of stitching along the edge to kind of double reinforce it because this poor material this is brand new fabric here this is the old fabric and you can see I'm picking as I go because there's a lot of little I don't know what you want to call them but there's a lot of them on it and so it's not, but the owner did not want to change the front for her husband. She wanted to keep the original material so that but see how nice these palms work. If I'm doing this myself with my hands I'm holding it and I, and I have a tendency to grab this which puts a lot of stress on my hands because if I do it this way see my hand slipping it slips on this but with these from Martelli's they're called palm paddle set and you can just hold them and I think they're kind of meant to use like that. I guess that's why they call them palm. I, 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 they're brand new for me. I'm still working with them. But I do really enjoy them because I do a lot of free motion quilting. And I do... That's the one problem I have with free motion quilting. See how that's holding that extra little... Where this quilt has been stretched out where it's older material in order to I I had to completely take this apart and try to re-sew it back again and so going back together there were a few puckers but it's kind of basically the same quilt so I'm hoping that he will love it just as much as he did when his mom made it so and that's the thing his mom has got past And his wife knew that he slept with this quilt every night and that it wasn't, she knew it wasn't going to last. She knew it was going to die on him. And it's kind of a strange story. My um, first quilting buddy, Miss Louise, Who just passed away the last thing she did before she passed away was she had told this lady that I restored quilts and that I would probably do a good job for her which I appreciated that so much and it was so sweet because it came after the fact and I got the call sorry I'm tearing up now because it was so sweet of Louise but that was just the type of person she was and that's the way quilters are quilters are so giving 
They love to help other people. They love to give and do things. Now this is what I do for work, um, is quilting. Um, so I am charging this lady to do this quilt. Um, but I didn't charge her much. I had kind of suggested that maybe we just redesign it kind of with the same colors, but she was, and you got to make your customer happy. I know a lot of my friends are like, oh, I wouldn't, I don't think I would like to restore quilts or somebody else's and and it is a hassle but I asked her the, her the lady's name that quilted this first I wanted to know a little bit about her and she told me some because I think I find and I think most people do that you think about the person you're making the quilt for and I've had a really hard time deciding to sell my quilts because of the fact that I like to think about the person when I'm making a quilt. I like to think about who the person is. I like to pray for them. I like to wish them well wishes. Um, think about times that we've had in the past with the person that I knew. Where when you're making a quilt, just to make a quilt, I don't have the same feeling. And I've talked to a lot of other quilters and they're the same way. So if you ever receive a quilt from someone, know that they love you and know that they have put hours and hours and hours into this quilt and that they were thinking of you a lot while they were making this quilt. See how smooth this Janome machine is? I don't want to jinx it. Um, it makes beautiful stitches. I just am so in love with this. I've been using a small Singer for the longest time. Great machine stood up. It took a beating that I gave it. It's ISO every day, maybe five to seven hours a day. Now see, this is where when you're using an older material, it's, it's thin. And you really have to kind of baby it in there. But I'm hoping this hand is not blocking what I'm doing um, so that you can see the use of these. And see, I'm kind of grabbing it, and I think the purpose of these, and I haven't gotten used to do that yet, I just, it still feels awkward to me. But it's still a lot less pressure on my hands. And don't swim. You'll notice every so often I swim a little bit. You just want to make sure when you're quilting this well so you're not hearing me rant the whole time I'm sewing this. I'm gonna cut this. I may sew a little bit more and not say anything. My air conditioner is on again. I'm in Florida and we've gotten a lot of rain this week. And so the humidity is way up. And even though luckily it's only in the like 85, 86, it feels like it's in the high 90s. And but word uh, just take your time keep get a nice pace going with your machine relax your shoulders don't do the shoulders in the neck type thing and that I, I, I know I'm saying that and you're like yeah right because I did that for the longest time I was so sore after I finished quilting I was my back was bothering me my shoulders and my neck were bothering me and it was because I was so unrelaxed when I was quilting and then on one quilt 
all of a sudden I was like okay I'm feeling much better about this and ever since then I have much more enjoyed quilting but see how my machine is moving at a faster pace than I'm moving and that way you get a nice kind of even you want to keep it you don't want to speed up in one place and slow to see there's another spot that's a little weak you know what I was I saying oh you want to just keep a nice even trying to decide what's the best way for filming this. I'm brand new at this. This is my first time trying sewing and doing this. So I'm hoping that the camera is getting what I'm doing. This one I'm going back because this was a little partial on it and I don't think. Now sometimes you backtrack on it. I know this is a quilt for love. This is not a show quilt. This is not anything else. See, there's a spot there that I'm going to have to... This material is weak. That's why I like double enforcing. All the way around, just to make sure. And I didn't want to heavily quilt this. The difference is when you heavily quilt something, it becomes kind of stiff like a board. And so it's not as comfortable to sleep with or to lay around with on a couch, you know, on a rainy day with a book and you just want something over the top of you. But I hope for you newbies that the shows that even if your quilt is not the best made quilt, you've got mistakes in it, you've got flaws, you've got all kinds of stuff going, but somebody is going to love this quilt because you made it for them, because you took the time and the effort. And that's something that's lost, I think, anymore. People just don't take time with people. When they're there with them, Oh, here goes my... They're on the phone. They're not... So now I'm going to go back and double secure this. And I'm checking as I'm doing this to see if there are any places where the fabric maybe looks a little thin. And if it does, then I can kind of go back and forth and reinforce that stitching a little bit. Okay, I really think you're supposed to use these flat palms. I'm going to have to call Martellis and ask them. And I'm using it flat palms and it works great like that. But I guess I'm so used to grasping my fabric that that's what's happening. But they're, oh, I just love, no, look at this. These do not slide at all. And now I'm going to go back and forth a couple of times. This machine has everything I wanted in it. It's perfect for me. Uh, and I'm going to go on and do some more of this. And I'll show you this quilt again when it's done. Thanks.